As their part of the Home is Where the Hall is project, Malmesbury Mechanics Institute hosted the 150th anniversary of the formation of the Malmesbury Borough Council. Originally the project was just going to be a list. Then when I started getting photographs and information about these men, I thought, no, I need to do more than just put a list together. These men have a story to tell. And yeah, that, the project sort of snowballed from there. The book looks into the formation of the council. And then we researched all the men who had served as councillors for Malmesbury, looking at their lives, where they came from, where they ended up, what they did while they were in Malmesbury and in other places. We had diverse backgrounds, anything from Irish, Welsh, English, German, American, all sitting down at a table. You can imagine the accents coming through at those meetings. I'm wondering sometimes how did they understand each other, let alone plan to do something together, to put in a footpath, a road, a hall and that sort of thing. Although you can write about history, a picture tells so much more about a person. The photograph that was taken in 1901 of the councils outside the town hall, there's one man dressed in a white suit and it almost looks as though he's come from the tropics from exploring the jungle. And you think, well, what sort of character did he have that he wanted to make his mark in that photo? I'm the one wearing the white suit, everyone else is wearing dark suits. One man even had a black armband on, indicating there must have been a bereavement. Another councillor, he was a keen um, uh, shooter. He actually was walking along the Colliburn River rabbit hunting and accidentally shot himself in the head. So that was sort of a bit of a, a shock finding that. Councillor John Henry Bound, he built a place called the Birthday Villa. So he built that place for himself in about the mid 1880s. One night coming home from, uh, I think he'd been to a meeting somewhere, uh, his wife greeted him at the back door with a lantern. A gust of wind actually blew the lamp and set fire to her clothing and his clothing. He tried to put the fire out on her and doing so, he got severely burned himself. She survived the fire, he died as a result of his burns basically within 24 hours. Yeah, he'd sort of done so well being a counsellor and just, yeah, died in very tragic circumstances. Thank you. 